Ranking every TikTok slang word in existence. First up, we got skibbity. F tier. I don't know what you expected, but it sucks. It makes no sense at all. What does it mean by skibbity riz? Like, what, what the hell does that even mean? Well, shorty, I'll let you know I bet skibbity riz. Yeah, you're scaring the hoes with that one. Like, what is, what even is it? Yeah, I don't see anyone huh? over the age of 12 saying this one. And one day I was whipping the whip. And, you know, I went on a nice little shopping trip <laughs> at this plaza near my crib. And I, on the way in, I hear kids saying skibbity ohio riz i'm like <laughs> like my body just recoiled and cringe like my soul just left me i didn't think this was real but it is next we gotta talk about the newest gen z slang to date edging excuse me edging Edging was banned in a fucking edging school, bro. Th class. This is real. This is a real thing. And even in my comment section, in every YouTube comment section at this point is, I'm edging to this video or whatever it is. Like, pause? Hello? D are we not gonna get a pause? Like, bro, I'd rather get those copy and paste comments like, oh, uh, ex-content creator never fails to spread my cheeks than get fucking edging. Like, that shit's ass. G tier. Just because of that one clip about edging being banned at school. Next, we gotta talk about yapping. Now, I've been saying this shit since I was fucking, I don't know, eight years old, bro. People are getting creative with it, which I really like. Like, bro speaks Japanese, or who the fuck ordered a yappuccino? Like, there's a lot of variations that I like a lot, so we'll give it, like, a B tier. But yeah, it's starting to get a little bit overused and repetitive. Phantom Tax. Now, Phantom Tax, I've never really heard anyone say it to me, ever, honestly. Although the fucking news said it, but I've yet to have any daily interactions with anyone saying Phantom Tax to me. And I guess it's just when someone finesses your food, all right, it's like the tax for you being their homie, I guess. I don't fucking know. So, uh, B tier, I guess. I don't know. Glazing. Now, glazing is basically another variation for meat riding. And glazing, you know what? I fuck with it. I'm not gonna lie. I'm glazing the word glazing. You got me. All right, it's going in S tier. No ifs, ands, or buts. Next, we gotta talk about CEO. I don't know. I'm kind of mixed about this word. Might have to give it a little, uh, comma C tier. I didn't even know I was using Gen Z slang, quote unquote, by just saying, yo, John, you're the CEO of being a bum. Next, we gotta talk about womp womp anytime some something bad happens to someone else and they don't care people will say womp womp in the comment section your bank account got fucked and you made a whole post or you could say like oh chadley broke up with me guys i'm so sad something along those lines and you check your instagram reels comments and you see womp 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 that basically means cry harder i don't give a fuck get wrecked. Well, yeah, I've been seeing this getting a lot more popular on Instagram Reels, especially, so maybe a C tier. I don't really know how to feel about this one, so I'm just gonna put it right in the middle. Next, we got ate that up, quote unquote. Oh my god, I hate this. I, I don't know. This is kind of annoying. I'm not gonna lie. It's basically a similar word to you cooked. Like, I'd rather say you cooked up a nice gourmet meal. Like, that sounds way more elegant, exquisite. But you ate that up. Like, bro, it sounds, uh, it just sounds like trash. I don't know. I'm just not, I'm not rocking with it personally. Personally, D tier. But I much rather say that than fucking skibbity riz or whatever. People got bored of slay and pop off, so they, they made you ate that up. Like, how many of these are you gonna make? Dog water. This one's kind of falling off. This one isn't really sticking, to be honest. Like, buddy, your dog water at the game. Like, I don't know. It, it just, it's just not sticking. It's basically another way of saying you suck at the game. That, that's really it. It's not really sticking for me. That's, I'm not gonna hold you. I'll put it in, like, D tier. Next, we got fatherless. Now, after all this time, I still don't know how I didn't cover this word. It is a staple of Gen Z slang. It's kind of used as a comeback to people, like, in comment sections. Like, oh, buddy, hey, buddy, you're fatherless. Yeah, this just turned into a 12-year-old insult. As the months went on, it just got more and more overrated. It's pretty self-explanatory. It's an insult saying you have no father figure because you did something dumb or something they don't agree with. And we can't forget it's overused as fuck, so D tier. It sucks. Next, we got Gaslight Gatekeep Girl Boss. What the fuck? Yeah, just for this, it, it's just going in G tier. This term just sounds so toxic as hell. If I meet a girl and she starts saying this shit, I'm getting the fuck out of there, bro. Like, that's all I'm gonna say. This is like a goddamn puzzle, bro. I'm on fucking wiki how trying to figure out what this even means. But just the word gaslight itself just makes the phrase sound toxic as hell. Caught in 4K or 4K. I've never reviewed this one, but fuck it. I'll just throw it in here anyway. This one's kind of getting old. I've, it's it's kind of dropping off, falling off the face of the map, kind of like dog water. If you did something you weren't supposed to, you would get caught in 4K doing it, even though they are damn well recording that shit on like a 144p Nokia phone. For the most part, it was a pretty solid one. Aside from the actual camera quality, so B tier. Alpha. 
Ugh. I hate the term alpha male, bro. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Chad is where it's at. So Chad's gonna be getting an S tier. I don't even have to say nothing for Chad, but alpha male, there's just so many cringy people that use it that it just completely ruins the word for me. Like they'll sit there and say, I'm, I'm in the living room watching my daddy Andrew. And these people will just call someone a beta for basically nothing. Like if you're so insecure at the point where you call people beta males or whatever, you're just a bum. Like how much of a loser do you sound like? Just shut the fuck up and focus on yourself, bro. Because that, if anything, that, that makes you less alpha if you're just sitting there focusing on other people. D tier. Chad better. Bubblegum pink. <laughs> garbage. Absolute garbage term. Whoever came up with that needs to, like, be sent to the gulag right now. And, yep, again, it refers to the color of a girl's private part. Like, they think, they, these motherfuckers think they're gonna get play by saying any of this. Like, there's, we're gonna be 10 years down the line. I'm gonna, like, be at a bar, and I guess I'll hear some kids say this like it's a completely normal thing. Because somehow people think this is, like, normal behavior. Hi, I'm Bartholomew. Nice to meet you. <laughs> you look like a snack. Uh, Thanks. I was wondering. I was just wondering. Me, my buddy Nielsen's over there. He was also wondering, is it bubblegum pink? If I was a girl and someone said that to me, I would slap them in the face too. Below F tier again. Next we got peak. Now I'm saying this one all the time, bro. I don't know. It's been growing on me for months and months. And I'm guilty of saying this one a lot. Like somehow maybe you might say this video is peak entertainment. This one, it, it's harmless. Like it's used to describe something that's like extremely good. So yeah, this one, I, I like it. I'm giving it an A tier. Then we got another good one. That dog in a bro. I fucking love this one, bro. Holy sh- I guess it just refers to someone who's a beast on and off the basketball court. Like someone, let's say someone climbed Mount Everest. I guess bro's got that dog in him. It's used to describe someone who's like hella brave. So we'll get, we'll give it an S tier. Then you got Musty. Now it's, it's a nice way of describing someone who smells bad and looks disgusting. Looking like they just rolled out of bed and it's been like a few weeks since they showered. They're looking like a full on discord moderator. It's like the best way to describe it. Or people could describe like certain scents or food as musty. Like school lunch, that shit, oh my God, so must. Like that shit just smells terrible. And this word wouldn't have been invented if people just showered and school lunch didn't exist. Anyways, we'll, we'll give a nice solid A tier. Next we got hear me out. Now this one, it, it could just lead to just trash. It's an up in the air kind of saying. Like it depends what you're saying hear me out to. So here's the point of view of a normal versus a not so normal, hear me out. Yo, boys, hear me out, hear me out. We get some eats, and we're throwing a function at the crib tonight. Yo, I'm down, down. Hey, fire, I'm down. Hey, I'll be there. Yo, yes, sir, I'm in, I'm in. Go. Hey, Millie, what? Hear me out. <laughs> Bob, that's your sister. <laughs> No, isn't she attractive? What in tarnation? Obviously, that's a bit dramatized, but some people say hear me out to <sighs> people they shouldn't be saying hear me out to. We'll, we'll just say that. And then some people just say hear me out to like someone they find attractive in general. But you have that side of the spectrum where it gets really weird too. So just for that, it, uh, it's getting an F tier. Sorry. Next up, we got queen slash king. Now this one, eh. I don't know. And no, this isn't referring to like King Tut or whatever fucking king stick up the ass the fifth. No. Queen and king can refer to just anyone, I guess. Like someone's friend could like do something crazy and then they'll say, oh my God, pop off queen, slay girl, oh my God, or whatever. I don't know. I really don't rock with it like that. So queen and king's gonna have to get a C tier from me. Material girl. What the fuck? I don't even know what this means, but it was like a TikTok trend and people were saying material girl back in like 2022, but still it's pretty recent. This saying it's completely died, I think. Unless some of you hear people still saying material girl on the daily. I don't even know what it means, so I'm just gonna give it a fucking <laughs> F tier. Although I don't know what it means, the trend was like really material annoying. Material girl, like shut the fuck. Mommy. Just why, you know my spiel about this one if you watch the channel. You are not getting any play if you call Brecky Hill Mommy in the comment section. If you know, you know though. Woo. Nah, but seriously though, what? I don't get it. You just look like you're in the trenches at that point. Like, you know my spiel by now. It's going in F tier. Next, we got ballin'. Now, it can refer to someone being like rich as fuck. Like, they're, they got like 50k up to their both of their ears, like the baby or whatever. Or they got like a Bentley coupe in a mansion. 
Like, bro's balling. Or someone could just say it on the basketball court. I don't know. Uh, but I really like the saying overall. I'm going to give it an A tier. Meat riding. Now, this saying, uh, it, it got ruined. It got absolutely ruined by TikTok. You could literally just say you like someone's content. And I like Playboy Carti music. The meat riding's crazy. Oh, my God. He's meat riding. It's nuts. Like, you can't even praise any content creators nowadays without saying you're glazing. Originally, it was good. I'll give it that. So... If it was actually used as it was intended, I would give it a B tier. Rippy. How do you even say this one, bro? Like, seriously. Like, basically what it means is it refers to a girl's, uh, <coughs> that's really all I can say. I'm not gonna go into a whole ass urban dictionary definition description. A lot of people on TikTok started saying it, and any attractive girl on TikTok, boom, you'd see it in the comment section. <laughs> Is it creepy? Like, shut your stupid ass up, bro. You only be able to test that theory out yourself if you keep saying that shit. Well, technically, does it creep the meat? Bro, th there's always these weirdos that just comment this shit. And they think it's peak comedy or something. I don't know. Below F tier. What the hell is this? That is clearly a rough start. Next, we got another new one. Canon event. What the fuck? Apparently, it's an event that's like a really important part of your arc as a human being, as an individual. Like, I don't know, me saving up for a PC was a canon event. It just needs to be front and center of my arc as a human being. Like, I guess it just refers to the most important parts of your lore, I guess. I don't know. C tier. It really just doesn't roll off the tongue. Then you got blood. And there are so many other variations of blood, it's insane. So first there was bro. Now bro was, I think bro was a pretty solid S tier. I use it every day. Then people out of nowhere just start saying blood instead of bro, which honestly had me confused. Then you got people saying blog, blog, blood is not relaxing. Blog thinks he can chill after a long day of his nine to five. Like what the fuck? Dude? I guess you could just make your own variation at this point, bro Sivia really thinks he's him. Like, I, I don't fucking know. Like, I could say anything. I guess anyone will, will run with it. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if I just say Brokowski and then someone just uses it in a TikTok. There's probably already so many variations out there. Like, I just found one that says, Blood Amir really thought he could eat for free. Zog is not happy. Like, bro, what the hell? D tier. It, it's just too random. It doesn't make any sense. Like, I just don't get the joke. Maybe I'm just not cultured like that. Next up, we got Gat or Goddamn. I guess that's short for goddamn. So I guess I'd picture it going something like this. Yo, dude, did you just see that girl? Woo! Damn. Yo, bet. that's a dime piece. Gyat! What? If someone said that, it just said gyat out of nowhere. I would have been confused as hell. I've been seeing this term everywhere. Anywhere I go, especially in a streamer's chat, bro. Like, that word will be spammed. Like, the word itself isn't terrible, but it's just overused everywhere. So, we're gonna have to go with, like, a solid, ah, C tier. I would have gave it B if it wasn't spammed everywhere. <sighs> I put it in C tier. It's going in D tier. Ohio. So if someone sees something strange, they'll say something like, most normal kid in Ohio. If they see some weird kid, I don't know, for example, it's like some kid Naruto running down the hallway while screaming or something. I am the master Okage. Yeah! Bros from Ohio. Most normal Ohio Only in Ohio. Are we in Ohio right now? People showed really weird footage or clips on TikTok and put like, only in Ohio or some shit, or like, you can't have shit in Ohio or whatever. I don't know. C tier. You really think I'm about to leave that shit in C tier? Past stuck here, funny motherfucker. Yeah, we're dropping it all the way down to F tier. That shit's trash. Next up, we got Riz. Now, I see a couple YouTube comments asking me what the hell is Riz. It's basically your ability or your charm when speaking to a girl or a guy. And then now there's like a bunch of different sayings with Riz, like what negative the Riz, heck? the Rizzler, the Washington Rizards, or whatever the hell. Like, I like the term Riz. Like, it's getting an A tier for me. I'm back. I'm back on the mic already. It just goes, to, this just goes to show how poorly words can age. Because the original use for back in 2021 keeps getting tarnished by the internet. C tier. And the reason why it's not an S tier is because there's some people that just overuse it. Or they don't even know what it is. Like, I could be talking to a girl about, like, the fucking homework from last night. Like, it could be anything. It could be, like, some shenanigans that went down in class. Maybe we both saw the Naruto kid running down the hallway. And then you see this kid down the hall that thinks you're trying to riz up every girl you talk to. Yo, W Riz, bro. 
Rizzle Yo, is that the Rizzle of Oz? This dude plays Rizzle 101 in his spare time. in the time. studio later? Like, if I'm talking to a girl, that doesn't mean I'm rizzing her up all the time. Like, damn. Next up, we got Munch, and now I'm not even certain on what the hell this means. All I know is people started saying it after an Ice Spice song. Maybe people said it before. I have no idea, but chances are it was after. I don't want to hear it, man. Ice Spice is better than Beethoven. Now, but seriously, what the hell does Munch even mean? My guess is just someone who's down bad. Someone who's just in the trenches. I don't, I don't know. C tier. I don't know what the hell it means. Then we got Slay. Now, I don't know. I'm not really the biggest fan of this one. I'm not over here saying it 24-7, but it basically means like go off or something or pop off. It's kind of like the phrase pop off queen or something. I don't know. Like it's, It means like you're going off. You're doing a great job. D tier. Then you got Menace, which is honestly self-explanatory. Someone who's just devious. That one kid that wears the black Air Forces to school and listens to NBA Youngboy. That is the menace right there. You already know this kid was partaking in the bathroom heist, and he's just up to shenanigans overall in school. Now, that's what you call the menace. I don't know. Everyone just started saying it on TikTok. We're going B tier. Then we got ratio. Oh my god. These mother... This term should never be said in real life. And if you do say it in real life... Oh my god. Like, I swear, there'd be some kids, like, trying to ratio each other in real life. Like, bro, what are you doing, bro? Like, the teacher will be talking about ratios, like, the the, ma the actual math ratios. All right, class, today we're gonna be talking about ratios. Counter ratio! What are you talking about? You said we're talking about ratios. Counter ratio plus your mother is fat. Bozo. Get pat. What are you doing, bro? This isn't really the internet. on Twitter Tell right this kid now. to That's shut crazy. the fuck up. Do people do that still? So if I were to want to ratio someone, I reply to their comments meant to get more likes and apparently i would own them quote unquote if i ratioed them C tier. NPC, which is used to describe someone that's a bot. It's basically like a non-playable character in a video game. They act really pull up the ass-ish, if you if you feel me. They'd say some shit like Good morning. It is a great day to be alive or something. I don't know. <laughs> it's pretty self-explanatory. It's basically, you, they just sound like a video game NPC. That's it. And then they have the same dialogue to the point you would think, oh, is this person like a video game character or something? Yeah, it's basically your day-to-day -day interaction with someone is the same, like every day. So I'm an NPC and this is the part that really describes me. I just fucking stare into space and I just look like an NPC. I just look like I'm ready, waiting for a fucking Pokemon battle as I'm staring off into the distance. I'm gonna give this one one B tier. It's a little bit overused, but not too bad. Then we got bro thinks he's blank, bro this, bro that. I don't know where the hell this phrase came from, but low key, I'm fucking with it. I'm guilty of saying this one all the time. I don't know if this even counts, but fuck it. I see it all the time on TikTok. It's kind of like a replacement term for this dude. Like if someone was acting like a vampire in class, some kid would probably say bro thinks he's Cardi. A tier. Next up, we got smoking that blank pack. Smoking on that pack. Getting packed. Oh, hold on. This basically means means you own them. So when this cupcake eater got exposed, we were all smoking on that EDP pack. Like the internet destroyed this dude's career as he waddled away back to his car. So let's say, I don't know, the Chargers choked last night. So Jaguars would be smoking on that Chargers pack. I don't know how the fuck that S tier. Next we got Rip Bozo. Now this term's booty cheeks. I don't like it. Some kid could say like his loved one passed away and some toxic kid on TikTok would be over there like, Rip Bozo. Like TikTok seriously ruined the term Bozo. Like, like fuck out of here with your Rip Bozo. I bet some people don't even know what Bozo means. They just say it because everyone else is saying it on TikTok. This one's said by like a bunch of edgelords on the internet. And that's like toxic as possible in the comment section. This saying blows ass. F tier. Period. Another, yeah, this saying's definitely another F tier. I don't, I've never said this one in my life before. I really don't get the point to period. Because some kid could just say like, God damn, I just blew up that bathroom. Period. Like what? I don't know. It's either emphasis or ending a discussion, I would, yeah, I'm guessing. I don't know, I'm not really fucking with this one that much. To me, it just doesn't feel right. Like, I'm hungry, period. Like, I don't know. I don't think this one will ever grow on me. So we're, we're just gonna have to place that one in the F tier real quick. Then next we got goaded. I fucking love this one. This is automatically an S tier. Like, if you say something is goaded, like, that, that's when you know. That's when you know something is good. Like, I could say, like, YouTube videos are goaded. Or, like, if someone is good at a video game, someone would say, like, they're goaded on the sticks or something. I don't know. Although Tom Brady's acting sus on the timeline, he's a goat or something. I don't know. This dude needs to be nerfed. Like, seriously. Like, someone's gotta put a stop to this. W, L, and mid. I'm gonna put them all in one category. W means good or winning. L means bad or losing. And then you could put, like, the W or the L in front of, like, someone's name or, like, an object or something. Lop, wart, and lop, lart. And then, of course, you'd say W if you, you know, if you fuck with someone, and then you say L if you think the person's, like, garbage or whatever. That's basically how the terminology is used on the internet. And then mid is basically to describe 
describe food, music, movies, etc. Instead of saying like, eh, that was all right, you'd say, yeah, that shit was mid. Meaning like in the middle. Or it can mean like awful. Like certified boy lover was mid. Or honestly, never mind was mid. Then you got drip. This term, ugh, it got ruined. So I was hanging out with the gang and we saw this commercial come on for the game. And it said the drip is in the details. And we were like, what? the hell? It seemed really out of place. It just felt really weird. I mean, in the next 10, 20 years, it's probably going to be a normal thing, but it's going to take a little bit of getting used to, we'll say. But overall, I love the term drip. A tier. <sighs> Don't even get me started on this one. Sus. Now, this term used to be good until... Yeah. Until Among Us came out. I used to say it a lot in, like, 2018. And now every time I say the word sus, all I can think of is sussy baka or whatever. Or that stupid ad video of the Among Us characters dancing on stage. D tier. Understood the assignment. We're starting off with a bad one. This saying is booty cheeks, bro. Plain and simple. It just doesn't sound right to me. I don't know, but it basically means someone has gone above and beyond. Like, let's say, um, Lil Billy hit a home run. So, little Billy understood the assignment. <sighs> F tier. Next up, we got main character. Hey, I love this saying. I'm not gonna lie. It's really a perfect way to describe someone that's full of themselves or they think their whole life's a fucking Netflix series. Anyone who gets called the main character or has main character syndrome thinks they're the shit. So, people could be at like a party or something and some kid could just show up and for no reason, this main character guy could just... Him. Bro, who are you, dude? You're actual NPC. What the fuck are you doing at my party? Nah, I'm staying, bro. Your homie was the one who invited me. Bro, this is my party. Get the fuck out of here. Like, you're gonna scare all the girls away. Hey, I'm the host, dude. This is my party. Damn, I didn't know you had a whole anime arc in the store. You gotta get the fuck out of here. I'm the life of the party, bro. So back off, little bro. Capiche? Yeah, these are the type of people that call people NPCs for no reason at all. Main character, I like the saying, but obviously the main character is a piece of shit. So we're gonna go a nice solid A tier. Next up, we got him, Himothy, Himmy Neutron, the Himsons. That's when the whole family's him. And this is basically the opposite of the main character. You are that guy. For example, my boy Jimmy D is him. He's got over 100 million subs on YouTube. Or you could say Petty Mahomes and the whole Chiefs roster, they're the Himpsons. Okay, I've never heard anyone say that one before, but hey, if you want to start using it, go ahead. We're gonna give him an S tier. Plain and simple, it's just goaded. Then you got Who Asked. Who asked for this video and they're recommended? Who asked this and who asked that? I don't know. It, it's really, it's gotten ruined by TikTok. They just say it for basically about everything, which of course is going to happen for popular slang. Yo, yo, I went to the mall yesterday and guess what, bro? I saw the crazy there. There was a whole Karen freak out. I got it on recording too. Who asked, bro? Oh, come on. You really don't want to see it? Like, that's not something that happens every day. Hey, man, you're just missing out. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, there's like some people on TikTok that just say it to just look cool or something. I don't know. They will comment it on basically any video. It doesn't matter. It could be like some hustle Sigma grindset video like how to be a millionaire in 3.5 years. Stop. You're going to want to watch this. Who asked? They'll comment it. Who doesn't? It doesn't matter. Or I don't know. Dog goes wild over Super Bowl commercial. Who asked? That's it. All right, they're just dry, boring, because they, they don't, they're not interested in other people's, you know, what other people are saying, doing, or what's going on in their life. D tier. It was good until it was overused on TikTok. Next, we got Goofy Ah, or Goofy Ah. Not really sure how this one started, but I did hear a lot of people saying it after that one Quandale Dingle meme last year. And basically, it's used to describe anyone who acts like a goddamn cartoon character, like, or they just do anything goofy. Like, if someone's running like they're in a cartoon, like Drake, for example, you know, Drake's got a Goofy Ah run or something. I don't know. You, you know what Goofy means. I don't gotta sit here and describe what the hell it means. So, let's say, like, I throw a football and it's, like, the dumbest form of magic. And then I would have goofy F form. There you go. We'll go B tier for this one. Then you got it's giving. Uh, I don't know. It's more of like a shortened kind of phrase to it's giving this sort of vibe. I don't know. This is giving me main character vibes versus it's giving main character. Huh? I don't really get the point of this one. It really doesn't make sense either. Anyone new to the saying won't really get it. Like if I saw that for the first time and didn't know what that was, I probably would think they just suck at typing. Like, and why not just say the full thing? But I don't, I don't get it. D tier. Next up, we got let them cook, bro. I fucking let love this cook. saying. All right. In my opinion, this is the better version of slay. Like someone could be hooping up on the basketball court. He could have like 20 points, like 10 rebounds and like five assists. And he's like, cook it up. 
Oh, damn, the crossover. That boy was on skates. Yo, did you see that? My boy Lone is cooking out there. Hey, coach, let him cook. Hey, coach, put me in. I'm cooking up. And boom, he scores 40 points, wins the game. He just cooked up. Nothing is better than a bomb-ass meal. So in a saying, that, that's just S tier. Like he's whipping up a meal. Next up, we got I'm weak or I'm dead with the skull emoji. We're going to mix things up with this one. We're going to add an emoji in there. How the hell is this a laughing emoji? I don't know. Yeah, really don't know how this one started, but I'm assuming to TikTok. Well, I, now I just got a text with the skull emoji in it, and it's it's a laughing emoji. It basically is the new laughing emoji at this point. Difference is, you are on the floor dead. There's a huge difference, like, the, to the point where you can't even breathe when you're laughing. You know, at that point, you are weak. We'll go B tier with this one. Next up, we got bussin', and I guess this is used to describe good food. Now, this is my parents cooking, I'm not gonna lie. It's bussin'. Nothing hits more different than a home-cooked meal after a long day. Like, <clears throat> it slaps. It really gets me hyped up. I could literally go to the gym, then go upstairs and record a video. That's how much energy in life the home-cooked meals give me. Bussin, it gets an A tier for me. Just all the beautiful meals I think of. I don't really say it a lot. It would get S, but I don't say it a lot. Then we got skill issue? A lot of you said this one in the comments section, and I forgot it in the last video, and everyone and their mother is saying it in your school. I'm gonna have to use Google for this one. But I'm assuming it's like a lack of skill at something. Like at a game, or like... I don't know. It's everyone's using it for everyday life situations now. I guess it's a way of saying your booty cheeks at a game. Maybe. C tier. I'm just gonna go with C tier. We gotta fill up the C tier. Then you got catch these hands. Now I can imagine this being said in a school locker room. There's some beef going down with Brad and Chad. And there's like a whole fight that breaks out. Hey, little bro, I heard you slept with my girl. You gotta catch these hands. And yeah, beef. It, it just beef everywhere. And basically, of course, it means you're, you're just gonna catch some goddamn punches punches are going to be thrown your way. Me personally, I like the saying, you know what? We'll go with a nice solid B tier. It rolls off the tongue. Then we got Stan. Now this one is like an overly obsessed fan of like a music artist, a content creator, or like a TV show, an actor. Mostly stands that I see are music artists, actors, and dream. So for example, Playboy Cardi Stan. Like I fuck with the Cardi music. Heavy. I like his music, but I'm not rocking like Rick Owens. I don't have Cardi posters all over my room. And they genuinely get mad if if you don't the music. Yo, did you hear Cardi's new unreleased pack? I just ordered some Rick O's to celebrate. No, nah, I didn't hear it. And aren't those $1,000? Yes, but li listen, listen, just listen. It was trash. It was trash. Bro, bro, we can't be friends anymore. You, you can't disrespect Sir Cartier like that. But yeah, if someone says they don't like a certain type of music or whatever music, it really shouldn't be that deep. Next up, we got based. Now, based, it's just saying your opinion and not caring what other people think. One of my hot takes is dark chocolate fuck sucks. And I'm not really filtering myself in that statement or whatever. I'm not saying, well, you know, uh, uh, dark chocolate, it, it can be. Yeah, shut the fuck up. It, you're just being unfiltered. You don't care what other people think. A tier. Then you got Sigma grind set or Sigma or wh whatever it is. This one was used as shit on TikTok as well. Like you see like Patrick Bateman or like the Joker. Like I don't know why people are saying the Joker is a Sigma. Like, bro, what is he on that grind for? I don't know. Like, I don't see the Joker big balling in the movie. No, it, bro was enjoying the collection collapse of society like it's not like a f society type of thing you're kind of just going against the norms and doing your own thing to get dough and just because of the tiktok edits going in ct 